Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use the place replicate command inside the Cadence PCB tools. So the place replicate command or design reuse is the ability to reuse circuitry um, inside board files and also externally as well. So we'll start off, I've got um, effectively a, an eight channel device here. I've got one of the channels placed and routed. The rest of them are kind of just thrown along the bottom of the board here. And I want to kind of replicate this channel and reuse this in my design. So <clears throat> the way I would do this is make sure I'm in the placement application edit mode first. So, so right click application mode, placement edit. I can access it from the icon up here. I can access it from setup application mode and choose the application mode here. And I can also get in it for the bottom, the bottom toolbar, placement edit. So once you're in placement edit mode, I can literally just draw a window around the components that I'm interested in. So you'll see that they will, they will highlight. Um, if they're including all the components that I'm interested in, that's fine. I can just hover over any one of them and then do a right click and then this place replicate create so I'll do that and then what will happen is any tracking and, and copper shapes that are associated with these this this uh, the nets of these components will effectively highlight as well and then the command line then says select deselect additional etch as needed and then click done so I'm also want to include these additional uh, etch items here but if I didn't want to include items I can just use the, the control click or the click to include or exclude those items from the module. Once I'm happy with that, do a right click and done. It then says pick the origin point or use right mouse button snap pick to. So the origin point I want to be is pin one of this IC. So right mouse button snap pick to pin. That then gives me an origin file and I can then go and write this module file out. So let's just call this um, Steve underscore example and then we'll save. So this writes an external MDD file out. So um, what I could do is I could, uh, let's go and open another version of PCB Editor. And we'll just pick, um, let's just pick an all-cut standard license. I can do file and open. If I go and browse to that directory, Open the right sort of file type. Steve example one or Steve example, click OK. And effectively, this is written in an external file out. So I could actually come and make some edits here if I wanted to, but you can see it's got my components, it's got my net, it's got the wires, it's got all the copper shapes. So this is an external file, okay? So once your module, module is available to you, you can then start to apply it. So I'm literally just going to draw a window around all these randomly placed components. Now, they could have parts included in the next modules uh, or the, the, the other seven channels, or they might not. But um, I'll let the tool work that out for me, basically. So I'm just going to hover over any one of the components and then right mouse button, place replicate, apply. And I can see Steve example one because it's come from that local directory. But I can browse here and browse to an MDD file somewhere else if I wanted to do that. Um, so you can have a library of these somewhere. So place replicate, apply, Steve example. So in this example here, um, it's going to give me a list of this is the next circuit. So these components are going to build up my next channel. Of those components, C123 and C120 and C143 are swappable components. So if I select one of these, what this basically means is that all of these capacitors have the same uh, device type. So cap underscore 805 underscore the value underscore the part number. Um, they all have the same PCB footprint. They all have the same point to point connectivity. So there's no distinguishing way to uh, choose between these because we're doing this as a back-end process. It's not involving in the schematic. So it's just looking at those, those things. So point-to-point -point connectivity, PCB footprint, and uh, device name. So as long as those items match, I can either just accept and choose the default one that I want. So if I just didn't care about which decoupler this was, I could just pick and say hide form. If I did, I could choose the option and say, I don't want to use C21, I want to use C120, or 123, I want to use C121. And the same for C143, I don't want to use this, I want to use C141. I click OK, and then that module is then attached to my mouse ready to go and place. As soon as I place that module down, um, I get the poppable form again, um, and I can then go and swap and choose different capacitors again. If I don't care, because at the end of the day, as long as it has a decoupler, does it matter if it's reference designator as 123 or 126? That's your choice. I don't care, so I'm just going to click on hide 
I click OK. And then what happens is that the modules are then available for me to just go and place, place, place very, very quickly. Um, I can also do a right mouse button mirror, which will flip the whole module uh, around on the PCB, so the bottom side becomes the top and vice versa. And I can also rotate, and I can also change the rotation angle and choose what angle I want to rotate this at. So you can pretty much position the place replicate modules wherever you want. So let's get this uh, these two finally placed. So once that's finished, that's all my modules placed, and you'll see I've also got some components down here that weren't part of those modules. So um, I can also, um, I was quite random with the way that this was placed, so let's align all these modules together. So window select them all, hover over the one you want to align to, right mouse button align modules, and then if I look at my options pane, I've got options for obviously how the alignment mode is, horizontal and vertical alignment edges. Um, I can also equally space them, so let's use the equal space option. Um, maybe let's set this to 250. And we'll set this value to 50. So I can increase that value or decrease that value. So quite useful to get the alignment sorted out. So let's just done that command. Um, I can also swap the location. So you can see obviously some of these pinouts are, are actually swapping over. So what I can do is hover over one, right mouse button swap, and pick the module that I want to swap to. And, and you can actually just go in through, uh, so hover, right click, swap, and swap the modules that you want it to, to sort any crossovers that you've got here. Once you've done that, the final thing here that um, can be really, really useful is uh, maybe you've made a change or you need to make a change to one of the, the modules. Um, it's a tracking change, so quite a simple one. Maybe I just need to add some delay tune to this net here to length match it. So let's just do the delay tune command. We'll add some delay tune, maybe make it, uh, let's make it full arcs and we'll go to two times the space. Better. So I get some length matching here. That's fine, but obviously that's only done it on this one module. So let's hover over this module, right mouse button, place replicate update. I don't need to include any more additional let, so I can just do a right click done, choose the name to overwrite the file. So we'll do that and save, and then that propagates the change all the way through all of the designs together. If I didn't want that to happen, I can hover over one and just do a right click disband group, and then that would take this back to individual components.